Hey guys, it's me, Miss Reaper, and we're doing the third dungeon in the Heavensward storyline. Uh, might as well just say my hellos. Oh, <laughs> hell, apparently. <laughs> Living with you is hell. Shut up. Also, after this dungeon, you get that as a mount. It's the man cutter. And there's Nidhogg. Bro, why you aim for me? I have your eye. Get down, boy. You couldn't have used that before, right, Estonian? Right? Wicked mortals, I shall melt your flesh and turn your bones to ash. <laughs> Very um, descriptive of what you're going to do. like a suitable place to land, right? And this is the airy. <laughs> I'm well, sorry, were you getting impatient? I'm sorry. one thing. I love my Dragoon glamour. Uh, basically the top comes from the Omega Twins fight. Again in Stormblood. Um, the raids. Which will be coming in say a few months time. I say a few months, I've got to get through uh, <laughs> all of Heaven's Sword and <laughs> all of Stormblood. Right, anyway, I'll be right back. I'm going to go make myself some drink because I'm really fucking hungry. Basically, we've just got to get through a bunch of ads, get to the first oh, boss, a uh, bunch more ads, second boss, a bunch more ads. Oh, I can't. Yep, and I'm just dealing with this one. Fine, I can throw things. I can throw my lance. Until, of course, things get a bit too far away and I can't actually attack anymore. Also, keep an eye out for the um, area effect anyway. stuff. That's mainly a dragon firing lightning at you. And it will hurt. Also, I find it fitting that I'm doing Dragoon for this one, because dragons and Dragoons. Okay, first boss incoming. <laughs> this is the one that was doing all of the lightning attacks on our way here. So once we've got rid of this one... Uh, right. Uh, okay. Those will stop. Plus, as well, this one is a uh, stay inside. Oh, that's a fire at will. Again, that's an inside dobby. I also have this buff that allows me to do extra damage if I'm like attacking it from behind, hence why I'm trying to stay behind. Oh, let's move out of the way. 
Hi, baby. I don't remember this fight. The airing. I don't remember this fight. Well, you haven't done the knit hug stuff in a while, have you? They also did change it when they did uh, duty support, so there is that. Um, someone should also get a um, electricity charge. Uh, that person is me. So we run over and we attach it to this, and then get out the fucking way. I'm gonna meet myself. Will be back in two minutes. And of course, it, it's dead. We can now jump down here. Whee! Oh, oh. <laughs> Me and the tank having the same idea. Just, just jump. A terrible dragon appears before you. I start to, like, say slow down at this point, just so it doesn't attack me. Like, doesn't hurt me. And I'm nowhere near it. Uh. Right, this one I sort of have like no. Hey, I didn't get hit. Move out the way. Open up this coffer, because why not? That's yeah, only a ring. Or a bracelet. They look the same. They do just one of them fits around your finger, the other one fits around your wrist. Right? <laughs> right, so we've got to defeat these um, few more ads for that smoke to like disperse. And we can continue on. It is a shame that I'm not able to record the older versions of the Heavensward duties. I wish that I could. But I'm sure someone would have like the older versions of the duties on YouTube. I mean, yeah, I've got the older version of the Gaius and Olivia and stuff. Also, Cape Westwind which is no longer a thing, and I miss it. Oh lord. Yeah, I, I got hit with stone there. Move out the way. Let's deal with this big one. Also, there's a coffer there, which I will open up shortly. Right, everything down, yep. And let's put a sprint on. Right, and the second boss is incoming as well. Oh, that's a get out of the way. I'm also still on sprint for like the next few seconds. flames yep so for this we've got to find a nice area that doesn't have the flames uh, which would be this area here uh, the second time it does it will be a little bit different as we will also have an outer um, orange bit to contend with this bit here also, we've got this wind thing around us, so yeah. Right, so right now you'd think that this is the safe bit, right? Yeah, definitely safe. Right, get on out. Oh. All the way in. Eh, 
didn't push me as far back as you know I thought it was. It's a tank buster, so get away from that. Again with the flames. Right. Um. Yeah, here should be fine. Here is safe. If you get hit by it, you get um, vulnerability. And you know, a bit of damage. Okay. Oh my, that's a lot of um, <laughs> gear just piling up in the chest. In the coffers. Right, and we fight these three um, dragons. And I apologize if you can hear uh, that my partner is in the kitchen right now uh, using something. I, I don't know what it is. Whisk? not like a whisk uh, but basically you kill these three dragons and this part here will topple will timber and you can't climb up it until it actually finishes falling okay. and just be careful because even more stuff will be falling as well I'm already marked him Oh, yep, yeah, and there's two behind here, by the way. Um, I'll open that coffer in a moment that we can see to our right. Let's uh, deal with this one. Again, that pillar here will fall. You open it? Yeah, you did. Roll on that. And there's another copper as soon as you get up here as well. Just open that up. Just throw my lance at them. Get just that little extra DPS in as I'm just running. Of course, we could take this up into the other room that's just to our right. And up we go. Also, um, from what I've seen, we're going to get a like Valentine um, gun for our machinist. Right. And I was talking to my FC friends and I went, does it shoot out hearts? I hope it does. Like, you know, heart shaped bullets. It would be it would be great. Just kill him with love. I have a few things on me, but that's fine. I'm a dragoon. I can deal with this. Okay. So those are all done, which then means we run up all these stairs. And cutscene. What are you making? Ah yes, Nidhogg. This is where we kill Nidhogg. They're all waiting for me. Aww, thanks guys. So basically he's also got this thing of 
Dragonian gaze. The dragon's eye is limiting Nidhogg's strength. Basically, that's because Asinian has his eye. Right, so first off, we get to the edges, and then we run back to the middle. For hot wings. I see a little titan right beside me. I'm like, ah. Right, this is a get to the sides. So he's gonna do a breath attack. Um, all the way down there. Touchdown. Uh, I should probably do Lance Chance here as well. Uh, stable price. Who's gonna be priced? Right, so ignore Nidhogg and go straight for this. Unless, of course, you're the tank. Otherwise, that will kill your fellow teammate. I will say, if you're on duty support, he will most likely go for you. Right. He's going to spawn in some ads. Uh, just take care of those as quickly as you can, because if Nidhogg's ranker gets to 100 or even close to it, it's a one shot, okay? So just take them out. This basically allows him to like build up his anger. Um, pretty much, because ranker. And then usually your healer will do this. Which will reduce the damage that you get. Of course, uh, usually a, like, say we wouldn't have a Sage at the time. Um, so we'd get, like, this big um, blue dome over us. Oh, hot wings. That's an N. Um, I'm going to go out. Back it in, I think. Oh. Hi, stack my stack mapper. Fine. Um, hot tail. That's an out. And then back in just in case he cast decides to do hot wing. Uh, let's do this. Um, let's do a limit break. We'll probably be dead before I finish it off, but you know. Uh, let's just say GG to everyone. Oof. Okay, Estinian. Okay, now we've got like this huge cutscene, by the way. What you would do, um, if you haven't done the story, there's this whole cutscene. Um, at the end, I don't think I will have it because I've already done the story. And there's a Sinian just looking up because that's where Nidhogg's just flown to. He, he's ready for that cutscene. Right, so guys, um, if you like that video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, explore Eorzea, and peace out.